In 1815, with Europe at war, four young Germans decided to do a particularly foolhardy experiment, one which would transform their lives and ours as well. One of them, a pharmacist, had created some intriguing crystals, which he carefully measured out. He was keen to see what effects they would have on his body. He dissolved them in alcohol and then diluted it with water. They had very little idea of what was going to happen. The answer was not much, so they did it again. Prost! Ah, this time there was pounding headache, nausea and extreme flushing. But he noted that for the next few days, they continued feeling ill, aches, sickness and constipation. Swallowing the crystals had produced classic symptoms of opium overdose. Zertner was thrilled. He was the first person ever to extract the essence of opium, a white powder that he called morphium. He had given birth to a whole new science and opened a Pandora's box of good and evil. This series tells the extraordinary story of what Zertner unleashed. The remarkable medicines which today protect us against devastating disease. Just over there is a monster of biblical proportions, the smallpox virus. And the agonies of mortal life. I have here a big lump of raw opium. You almost want to lick it. Drugs that can be terrifyingly lethal. This is the most poisonous substance known to man. Or incredibly pleasurable. I have here my favorite drug of abuse. It's a story of two centuries of greed, luck, and genius. Oh, yes. Blimey, wow. <laughs>